everyone and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be in aid of last week's Victoria's Secret fashion show. I absolutely love waiting for the show to come out. All the models look absolutely amazing. So the show actually aired last week and this week I'm going to do a hair and makeup inspired look by the Victoria's Secret Angels because they always just look phenomenal. Like, I mean, who doesn't want to look like a Victoria's Secret model? Like, seriously. And I just love the fact that it's really, really natural makeup. So even if you aren't into the Victoria's Secret model thing, as I am, you can just take it as a natural, beauty, healthy glow makeup routine. So I'm just going to start with my moisturiser and I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Light. And to prime my skin, you know that I'm going to use my favourite, which is the Tom Ford Complexion Enhancing Primer in Peach Glow. Okay, so now that the skin is prepped, I'm just going to go ahead and use my foundation. So for my foundation, I'm actually going to use the Too Faced Born This Way. I'm going to use this because it is an luminous foundation and it gives an amazing glow. To add the extra glow, I'm just going to mix in some of the highlighter drops from the Barry M Liquid Chrome. Actually, into the foundation. You don't need that much though because it is quite pigmented. And just dot that around the face. I'm just going to blend that in with a Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender. For my concealer, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Concealer and I'm going to use this one rather than my double wear one because it has got a serum, very low on this, I need some more, but it has got a serum on the one end which is almost like an illuminator for under the eye. So it really helps to brighten it up under the eye. Again, just blend that one in. And on the other side you have a stick concealer. First, I'm just going to set this slightly. I'm going to use my Ben Nye Loose Powder, the Banana Powder. However, the trick with this, because it's loose, I'm just going to lightly dab it on the parts where you want to set it. But rather than going over the whole face and making it look really flat, and you're going to lose all that glow that you've just created, I'm just going to pop it where, you know, the unflattering parts of the face where the light would catch. For my bronzer, I'm just going to use the Victoria Beckham bronzer in Java Sun. And I'm just going to put that one under the cheekbone. So rather than doing a harsh contour, I am just going to add that little bit of colour still, but just keeping it natural. I'm going to add a little bit of blush from the Becca and Jacqueline Hill palette. I'm just going to use a mixture of these two here. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in with the Barry M Liquid Chrome Drops. And the nose, Cupid's bow. Another tip I found with this is that it doesn't really blend with the Beauty Blender. For some reason, I don't know, but fingers, always good. So for the brow, I am actually going to use a pencil. This one is the It Cosmetics Brow Power. On the one end, you've got the brush, so I'm just going to brush the brows through. It's universal, which is crazy, because obviously we all have different shades of eyebrow. But the hard, basically, the harder you press, the darker it gets. I'm essentially just filling the brow in rather than giving it too much of a harsh shape. I'm just going to set that in an upwards position. This is the MAC Clear Brow Gel. I'm just going to go ahead with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Just to prime the lid ready for the eyeshadow. For the eyes, I am actually going to take inspiration from Romy Stride. She is one of my favourite models. She's absolutely gorgeous. Although all the models had really similar makeup, so it was just, again, glowy, bronze, but on the eye it was still natural but just had a bit of glitter, a bit more shimmer. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to use some colours from my Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. My first colour, just for all over the base, is Crystal, which is the lightest one on the top left.
which is a light shimmery, just an off-white colour. And I'm going to take the colour Transition just in the crease just to warm this up a bit. Follow that underneath slightly just to make that a bit more subtle. I'm actually going to go ahead and I dug this one out of the drawer today. It is the Naked palette number two. And I'm going to go ahead and take this silvery colour here called Vile. Just on this inner part here. I'm just going to go back to the Violet Boss palette. I'm going to use the colour Bat My Eyes here. And just to do a really quick smoky liner, I'm just going to use this Topshop Smoky Stick in colour Sinister. Pop that on the lash line. And I'm just going to finish that with some mascara. And I'm just going to finish this look with a MAC lip liner in Subculture. some plumping lip gloss in amber okay guys that is the face done I'm just going to quickly show you how to get Victoria's Secret Angel hair let's start by separating the hair into two sections pop one out of the way then this other section that's left section that again into her. You're gonna need a waving wand. So this one here is the Cloud9 waving wand and as you can see it's got quite a big barrel and that is what's gonna give you that like effortless wave and simply grab a section, don't have to be too precise, wind it around the wand, keep it there for a few seconds and there's your curl. And you literally just do that all over the head. Okay, so when you've done both sides, you have to just knock them out so they look more natural. And I don't know if you saw this oil in my blow dry video, but this is the Persian Reed No Oil Oil. So you just need the tiniest little bit. And there we have it. This is my finished look. So this is my hair and makeup inspired look for the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show 2017. So I hope I did the models justice with this look. I just love it how it's just so natural, healthy glow. It's just exactly a look that I would go for. So thank you Romy Strides for being my inspiration, you are truly beautiful. I'll pop all the products that I use in this video in the description below. So I hope you guys like this video, if you did you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.